Yeah, we're here at the uh, centre here, in the Interpretive Centre here at Ockram today, um, accompanied by uh, Cahirik of Galway County, uh, Councillor Peter Keevney, uh, for the relaunch of the Interpretive Centre opening for the summer season of 2022. After an absence of uh, a couple of years uh, not being in operation because of COVID, it's fantastic that we're here today and that Galway County Council are providing staff to uh, for the summer season to ensure that the centre is open again, open to the public, and it'll be um, great for the village, great for uh, local history, and great for national history. And uh, the fact that Ockham uh, is uh, is open here again, it's it's great news. We're really really encouraged. Yeah, thanks. Look, delighted to be here in Ockham this evening. As as, as as Dermot said, it's been closed for three years and uh, the summer of, uh, was of 2020 we had COVID and you know that was a horrible time for everybody but it's fantastic to be here tonight at the relaunch of, of this interpretive centre. Um, the amount of history that's here I suppose, it, history and even as, as Dermot said inside, even finding artefacts in the field, it was a, it was a major battle going back 1691, there was 35,000 troops fought here, something like 10,000 died like the figures are mind, mind boggling but this is going to be a huge asset to the local people here, to the local community and it's telling a story of our history and the hope is that it would link in with other projects you know, that wouldn't be that far away and would, you would bring a lot of people to the area and it's a huge benefit to the local community here, certainly Well I suppose, you know, it's part of, 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 the, of the trilogy if you like, of, 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 of the conflict I suppose for the, um, for, for the throne of England it was hugely significant, uh, far more so than the Battle of the Boyne. And I suppose um, history kind of glorifies the Battle of the Boyne as being the, the, the real significant battle of that period. But in fact, Ockram was, was the crucial battle, uh, far more significant than, than the Boyne. And there was uh, skirmishing and, and a small battle in Ballymore in, in Westmeath. And then you had the, the, um, the engagements also in Athlone prior to uh, the 12th of July here of 1691. So particularly for anybody that's involved in, in history of that period, but history in general, um, you know, there's some great publications out there as well. Um, and I, I liken it to the, the likes of Gettysburg in the United States and, and, and uh, what took place there in the Civil War. Ockram, I suppose, was our Gettysburg. And, um, you know, people who have an interest in, 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 in history, um, because in this history and this battle possibly shaped the, the Ireland that we have today. And when we see, for instance, Brexit, you know, you can, you can trace it back to what transpired here in Ockram and, and who was victorious and who was uh, who uh, was uh, involved in that battle and how significant it was. So I, I'd encourage people to come along um, and the Interpretive Centre here gives a great illustration of all that period of time and particularly the significance of what took place here in Ockram. Cahe from a Nokahane. I think it's important that Kobe County Council recognises the importance of Ockram and putting an employee in here for the summer is fantastic. I know Kobe County Council are solely and 100% behind the project. Hi, um, my name's Abby. Some of you might recognise me from the library in Bannonslow. I recently started working there in April. Some, some of you might recognise me from my time here at the Battle of Ockram Visitor Centre. I worked here in 2015 and 2016. Um, the Visitor Centre has been closed since 2019, so it's fantastic to see it reopened here tonight. Um, the Visitor Centre showcases a hugely significant piece of Irish history that had kind of Europe-wide and worldwide significance. So I'd strongly advise everyone to come down and see the refurbishments and improvements that have been made. Um, it's well worth it.